The dawn of 2026 has brought with it a transformative shift in the global theater of aerial warfare, one where the roar of manned fighter jets is increasingly harmonized with the hum of sophisticated autonomous systems. For decades, the conversation surrounding unmanned aerial vehicles was dominated by slow-moving, propeller-driven platforms designed for surveillance or asymmetric counterinsurgency. However, as we navigate the complexities of this new year, a new era has arrived. The age of the loyal wingman and the high-speed, jet-powered drone. At the very center of this technological storm sits Australia, a nation that has transitioned from being a mere importer of defense technology to a primary architect of the next generation of air power. The most significant milestone in this journey is the formal transition of the MQ-28A Ghost Bat from a series of ambitious prototypes into a full-scale production phase. Designed and engineered by Boeing Australia in partnership with the Royal Australian Air Force, the Ghost Bat represents a historic achievement as the first military combat aircraft to be designed engineered, and manufactured in Australia in more than 50 years. This is not just a win for the Australian Defence Force. It is a profound statement of sovereign capability. By establishing a dedicated production facility in Toowoomba, Queensland, Australia has secured its place in an elite group of nations capable of producing cutting-edge aerospace technology. For the Australian public, this project serves as a beacon of national pride, proving that Aussie ingenuity can compete with and even lead the world's most established defense giants. As we look at the technical evolution of the platform in 2026, the introduction of the Block 3 configuration marks a pivotal moment. While earlier versions focused on proving the airworthiness and basic autonomous flight characteristics, Block 3 integrates deep artificial intelligence and advanced sensor fusion. This allows the Ghost Bat to do much more than simply follow a lead aircraft. It can now interpret complex battlefield data, identify threats, and suggest tactical maneuvers to its human counterparts in real time. This concept, known as Decision Advantage, is the cornerstone of Australia's recent 40 million Australian dollar investment in AI-driven defense programs. In the high-stakes environment of the Indo-Pacific, where seconds can determine the outcome of an engagement, the ability of an autonomous jet to process information faster than a human adversary is a game changer. The strategic logic behind the Ghost Bat is as much about economics as it is about firepower. A modern fifth-generation fighter such as the F-35 Lightning II costs taxpayers tens of millions of Australian dollars to procure and even more to maintain and operate. By contrast, the Ghost Bat is designed to be a massable asset, highly capable yet affordable enough to be lost in combat without the catastrophic strategic and financial blow that would come from losing a manned jet and its pilot. This allows the Royal Australian Air Force to project power more aggressively, using the MQ-28A to fly into highly contested anti-access and area denial zones that would be too dangerous for human pilots. It effectively acts as a force multiplier, allowing a small number of manned jets to command a much larger fleet of autonomous hunters. Australia's leadership in this field is being watched closely by the international community, particularly our allies in the United States. The United States Air Force has increasingly looked toward the Ghost Bat 
as a blueprint for its own collaborative combat aircraft program. This represents a rare reversal of the traditional defense relationship, where Australia is providing the technological lead for a major American requirement. This synergy is further strengthened by the AUKUS framework, which emphasizes the sharing of advanced technologies to maintain a stable balance of power in the region. By leading the way in jet-powered autonomous systems, Australia is not just defending its own borders. It is shaping the future doctrine of all Western air forces. However, the ghost family of systems extends far beyond the clouds. The synergy between the ghost bat and the recently unveiled ghost shark, an extra large autonomous underwater vehicle, demonstrates a holistic approach to national defense. The Australian government's commitment of 1,700,000,000 Australian dollars over the next five years for the Ghost Shark program highlights a clear strategic priority, the creation of a multi-domain autonomous shield. While the Ghost Bat secures the skies, the Ghost Shark patrols the vast, deep waters of the Australian coastline. Both systems share a common philosophy of using artificial intelligence to provide persistent, low-cost and low-risk surveillance and strike capabilities. The opening of the Andro Manufacturing Facility in Sydney in late 2025 has ensured that the production of these underwater ghosts keeps pace with their aerial cousins. Comparing Australia's progress to other global players provides a clear perspective on our current standing. While nations like Turkey have made significant headlines with the Kizilelma, a jet-powered UAV that recently demonstrated air-to-air -air combat capabilities, the Australian approach differs in its focus on deep integration with manned assets. The Kizilelma is often envisioned as a standalone platform, whereas the Ghost Bat is designed from the ground up to be a teammate. This teaming philosophy is what sets Australia apart. It is not about replacing pilots, but about giving them an unfair advantage. By focusing on sensor sharing and collaborative AI, Australia is building a sophisticated ecosystem rather than just a collection of individual drones. Despite these successes, the path forward is not without its challenges. The shift towards sovereign capability requires a robust and resilient local supply chain. In an era where global logistics can be disrupted by geopolitical tensions, ensuring that every component of the ghost bat from its jet engine to its microchips, can be sourced or serviced within Australia or through reliable partner networks is essential. Furthermore, as autonomous systems become more prevalent, the ethical and legal frameworks governing their use must be refined. The Australian Defence Force has been a vocal proponent of meaningful human control, ensuring that while the AI handles the data, the ultimate decision to use lethal force remains in human hands. This commitment to ethical warfare is a critical component of maintaining public trust and international legitimacy. Looking ahead through the rest of 2026 and into the next decade, the small but lethal doctrine will continue to define Australian defense strategy. We are a nation with a small population and a vast geographic area to protect. We cannot rely on sheer numbers of personnel or traditional hardware to guarantee our security. Instead, we must rely on the technological edge provided by systems like the MQ-28A Ghost Bat. These vanguards of the South Pacific represent a new way of thinking about national sovereignty. They are proof that a medium power can exert 
a massive influence on the global stage through innovation and strategic foresight. In conclusion, Australia's position in the era of jet-powered UAVs is one of undeniable leadership. From the factory floors in Toowoomba and Sydney to the high-tech testing ranges of Woomera, the nation is forging a future where our defense is smarter, faster, and more self-reliant. The ghost bat is more than just a machine. It is a symbol of a nation that has stepped out from the shadows of its allies to chart its own course in the most advanced frontier of military technology. As the world watches these sleek, dark silhouettes take to the Australian skies, the message is clear. The future of air power is here, and it is being built right here in our own backyard.